Hello everybody, welcome to our Kerbal Space Program video. Today we are going to be doing the fully reusable Duna mission here. Let's go into time warp now. We have our 16 vector bottom stage there, which is also reusable. Uh, this is a two stage craft that we're going to take it all the way out to Duna and bringing back. We are going to be recovering everything. Not anything is going to be left behind. We go ahead and do our gravity turn now and just go ahead and set our Apple apps. And then uh, that's good what we're doing our first stage. Now, our bottom stage is going to get us all the way into orbit, and then we're going to deorbit it and land. And then that uh, upper stage is going to take us all the way out to Dune and bring us back. This is a no mining ship, and uh, we're just going to be doing that. This uh, ship was kind of heavily inspired by Starship. Kind of has the same general, you know, appearance. You know, it's a two-stage, two-stage craft where the uh, upper stage gets all the way out to interplanetary. Except we're not doing any refueling or any stuff like that, but uh, like I said, it is pretty heavily inspired by Starship. Okay, now we're just drifting up to our orbital insertion burn. You can go ahead and do that now. All 16 vectors firing that 5 meter bottom. Bunch of thrust there, go ahead and stage that away. Our upper stage has a ring of, uh, ring of aerospikes with one wolfhound in the middle. The wolfhound does our interplanetary or vacuum burns and then those um the aerospikes will do our, our landing and take off burns out of duna where the uh, wolfhound isn't very efficient just going ahead and deorbiting our bottom stage now just pumping all the fuel into the back just so it can be more stable on re-entry even though we have pumped all the fuel in the back you'll see it does get a little bit wobbly as re-enter also have all of those um, air brakes on there to help slow the thing down all that is just an attempt to make sure that we use as little fuel as possible because we only have about 500 meters a second of Delta V to get this thing stopped. We are going to use parachutes uh, to help us out, which is going to definitely take a lot of that Delta V away. You can see now we're just about to destroy the drogue chutes. It's only drogue chutes we're using, so they are going to help us a bit, but they're not going to do all the work. We're going to still have to do a lot of it with those 16 vectors, and we're going to barely have to throttle them at all to get uh, get the result that we want. I've decided to leave SAS off because when you get low, if we just hold retrograde and if we accidentally start climbing again, we can, you know, weird stuff can happen. So we're just going to leave it off. And it does a pretty good job holding retrograde, especially with those parachutes out. All right, deploying those four landing legs now, firing the engines, getting really close to the ground, giving it one last little puff to get down and touchdown. And tipping over. Alright, just go ahead and reload that quick save, try again. Hopefully we don't tip over again, that's why you always remember to have quick saves. Okay, coming in, coming in, coming in, we have the landing legs out. Give them a little bit more thrust, and... Ooh. That wasn't so good either, was it? Alright, third time's a charm, alright. Coming in, coming in, we have those parachutes out. Have the engine firing, gotta touch down a little bit, uh, a little bit slower and make sure we don't try and, you know, land a little bit. A little bit less of a hill. All right, we have the engines coming, coming in much slower this time. Try not to, try not to hover too much though, because that is very inefficient. All right, hovering, hovering, coming down, 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 and beautiful. All right, looks like the third time was the charm, and the craft is now on the ground, and we can get worried about our upper stage. Go ahead and deploy that parach parachute. Wow, solar panel. And start setting up our maneuver node to Duna. We did launch the Duna transfer window, which is about 45 degrees. So, and uh, looks like we got a little bit of a MUN encounter there. So I'm just going to add orbits to try and get that out of our way, just so we don't have to deal with any sort of MUN stuff. Go ahead and set up that maneuver node. If you do a good one, it should take you about a thousand meters a second to get out to Duna, maybe a thousand fifty. Um, in this case, it looks like it take us about a thousand eighty, or maybe a thousand ninety. And then we can go ahead and do that burn. Bit of a long burn out to uh, Duna, so I've gone ahead and sped it up nine times, um, which should really help, but you can still probably get a perspective as to how long this burn is if you look at the uh, the burn time down there. If you might notice, we don't have any visual mods. I know a lot of people have those. Um, this, this footage was recorded actually fairly, fairly a while ago, so uh, I do have visual mods now, so if we do any more KSC videos, we'll be sure to have those, so stay tuned for that. I have some pretty cool mission ideas we could do, so let me know in the comment section if you have anything you'd want me to do or be interested in. 
All right, just finishing up that uh, burn with that wolfhound now, and we can go ahead and get rid of the engine there. We're not, we're not going to stage it, just going to kill the thrust. And then we're making our way out to doing it. Just go ahead and plan in course correction burn there to get ourselves nice and low. We're going to be doing just an arrow capture. Just going to go straight into land. Don't need to do any sort of orbits or anything. Just going straight, straight punching right through the atmosphere, and then we're going to be landing. Okay, going up time warp now, making sure that solar panel is facing the correct direction. Um, because we kind of used to have a solar panel who so was facing towards, uh, towards the sun, or towards the sun, well, towards, uh, towards not the sun. <laughs> okay, we did kind of overshoot our burn a little bit now, so we're just going to try and, uh, fix that now. Um, just using prograde and normal and anti-normal burns just to get that perfect equatorial orbit, just so we can maximize our efficiency and now we're going to just be time warping up to Duna. Okay, as we come up here to Duna now, just coming out of time warp and we're just going to be deploying, deploying, we're going to be retracting that solar panel now in just a second and deploying our air brakes and we're going to do a little bit of the spinny spinnies as you can see just about now, uh, just so we don't have any sort of re-entry or entry in this case, entry problems in terms of heating shouldn't be a problem. Duna's atmosphere is not very thick. Um, it's a really great atmosphere to do uh, aero braking at or aero capturing um, because it's both uh, not not thick but it, it's thick enough to uh, to slow you down. Okay now we just started our burn to land. We have all the engines firing. We probably shouldn't have the wolfhound but I think I just forgot to turn it off there. Looks like we've killed all of our horizontal speed. We're now just coming down vertically making sure we have a nice soft landing in Taduna, don't want to be doing anything crazy and this thing is fairly top heavy so we also have to be worried about that coming in nice and slow, nice and slow, very very slow, we have this playing this back at real time speed so you can really see how slow we're coming in, we have quite a bit of delta V so we actually do have a little bit of room to kind of mess around with just go ahead and burn 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 and touchdown welcome to Duna Alright, so we're going to just go ahead and uh, get the air brakes off, get the SAS off, and it looks like we can confidently say that we are for sure here. Perfect. You can see where we landed just about perfectly equatorial. And then we're going to go ahead and take uh, our Kerbal and EVA, and oh, 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 we plop. Probably should have put a ladder, shouldn't I have? We're going to do it the Kerbal way. All right, I'm going to walk around now, explore the area. Not really, just going to plant a flag, and that'll be that'll be the extent of our, our Kerbal's contribution to uh, her EVA. Go ahead and put something in there. I forgot what I put in there. Do not. I don't normally plant flags, but I figured, hey, why not? OK, now we're going to go back to the ship and uh, re-embark and get our way back to Kerbin because Duna is great and all but you know Kerbin's a bit better so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use our RCS thrusters on the Kerbal to redock or not dock but to embark back onto the oh well, ideally embark back onto the ship yeah this uh <laughs> this this goes on for a bit. I'll time lapse through that. So there. Oh, nope. Let's see if we can try again. Up, 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 up. Nope. And back down again. <laughs> Gotta. You know, it's this Kerbal Space Program. Stuff doesn't work in this game. All right, get back up, Kerbal. Get back up and keep trying. And and and. Oh, yes, he's done it. And we're launched. Pretty quick how that happened, isn't it? Um, I was just time warping to a transfer window while, uh, so that's why there was a time change. But anyway, we're back up into the sky again, set our Apple apps, and we are going to be getting ready to do our orbital insertion into Duna. Nice view of the sun there rising, and go ahead and get that burn set up. Looks good. And then we're going to just go ahead and drift on up to our Apple apps, get that solar panel back out, get all those aero spikes turned off. And then we are going to do our orbital insertion burn. There it goes. Burn, 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 burn. Duna is such an easy place, guys. It's awesome. If you've never been to Duna, go to Duna. It's not as not as hard as it sounds if you've you know if you've never done interplanetary missions. 
doing it. It's not not hard. Um, you just have enough delta v, and you'll be fine. Actually, in in my experience, the hardest part of uh, interplanetary missions is getting back. Um, it's you know it sometimes can get a little bit tricky to plan those uh, those uh, return burns or any sort of you know burn where you're going to a lower height than uh, than what your current orbit is. So you know, Kerbin to Eve, Kerbin to Moho, you know, Jewel to Kerbin, any of those I find to be more difficult than me trying to get a higher orbit. But uh, that's just me. So if anyone has any different experiences, let me know. Okay, just planning our mid-course correction for Kerbin. We have about 1,500 meters a second of delta V, so we're going to try and aim for a semi-accurate landing near the Kerbal Space Center. Spoiler alert, we don't really get, like, at it. We get, we just, we get near it. Um, so we're just going to be planning our burn to do that. So we're going to use a little bit of our fuel to uh, help aero capture or assist the aero capture, just um, because uh, if we just were to hit the atmosphere full speed, we would we would pretty much definitely break up. Or at least destroy most of the air brakes, and that, you know, we have to be reusable, guys. So we're just going to go ahead and fine-tune that, make sure we're coming in the right direction, which, ah, uh, that is not, I don't think. So hopefully I fix that if I don't. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's not the right way. Oh, yes, it is. What am I talking about? I was looking at that. Is it? Yeah, well, must be. Well, I'm confusing myself, guys. Um... Okay, so here we go, coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in, Get, pumping all that fuel to the back, getting the air brakes out, spin, 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 and, 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 nope, everything, yeah, the air brakes. So we just had to reload that quick save, and um, we're gonna just going to, I think I do, uh, yeah, I f flipped that, yeah, so I was right, we, we were coming in the wrong way. If you don't know, you want to be coming in the with the spin of the planet, because if you're not, you, you know. It's like an extra 300, 200 meters a second of speed you have to deal with. And that is not going to be very helpful, is it, when you're trying to, you know, minimize our heating. So here we are, we're coming in, just bringing that maneuver node in, just going to plan a secondary course correction burn, just so we can ensure that we come in at a proper, you know, speed. I also didn't fire the engines, which I probably should have considered doing, can, you know, based on the fact that we... We kind of need it, and we have so much extra delta V, you know. We really could have um, spent quite a bit on that. This thing is definitely an overbuilt craft. Like, we had 200 meters a second extra on the uh, the first stage lander, or the first stage lander, the uh, bottom stage, just, you know, landing. Um, and this one has, you know, that we have 1,500 meters a second. Um, so, you know, there's ways you can make this design more efficient. Uh, but this is just more of a proof of concept that I just thought would be cool to... See if I didn't want to iterate on and see if they could come up with something better. And now we're just going to pump the fuel into the back once again and try this for the second time. Get the air brakes out. Spin, 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 spin. And we're kind of popping them in and out, in and out. Oh boy. Ugh. We lost something there, didn't we? Oh. We definitely lost something. Reload the quick save. Try that again. I think this is where I kind of got the bright idea that we might need to start burning. And I probably looked at my Delta V and I'm like, yeah, we should probably start burning the engines. So here we go. Coming in, coming in. Attempt number three. Third time's the charm, guys. Remember? Firing that wolf found. Fire, fire, fire. Pumping the fuel to the back. I really should have a quick save for my. Oh, and. Ugh. Oh, we only lost, I think it was one or two that time. Not good enough. I mean, realistically, who, why, when would that ever be, you know? We have to be reusable, guys. So, coming in, coming in, fourth tries the charm. As we all know, that's what everyone says. And what am I going to do here? I'm just going to start burning a little sooner because I have just so much extra fuel that we can afford that. So, starting to burn in and out the air brakes just to make sure they don't get any excess heating you know, you know they're kind of always getting excess heating i think it'd be funny in real life if we just tried to use air brakes to survive re-entry i don't i don't think that's nasa approved procedure but this is kerbal you can do whatever you want all right so we just cut the engines now and we're just gliding up to our apple apps um because you know we are in orbit now 
So we're going to go ahead up to get the solar panel back out, get up to wrap wrap the planet maneuver node, and basically just circularize, and then we will be able to plan our arrival and try and get a semi-accurate landing into Kerbin, or the Kerbal Space Center. I don't really spend too much time on it because you know I've already been doing this mission for a while. And I said, eh, it's good enough, and I don't really have the I don't have the trajectories mod installed. Um, or Kerbal Engineer, so it's, it's a lot harder to get like an accurate landing. So you kind of really just have to guesstimate it. I have no idea what that comm is, <laughs> comm is doing. Anywho, okay guys, so we have deorbited now. We have the air brakes out, and we're just going to be slowing down here. We have about 450 meters a second of Delta V. We lost something. I think that was just an RCS thruster, so that shouldn't... That, we are 99.9% .9 reusable. <laughs> All right, you guys were clickbaited, absolute clickbait. No, just, I mean, you know, we could have redone that and got it. You know, I just really, I, I, you know, I had to retry this a few times. You know, all the reentry issues and all that. So I just, yeah, who cares? Let's just do it. Okay, guys. So now we're coming in. Get the landing legs down at the last second, and oh, what a nice landing! So that is going to go ahead and do it for today's video and today's mission is going to retract those air brakes and we're going to call today one successful fully reusable mission to duna okay guys with that said i'd like to thank you for watching next time please write or comment to this video once again thank you for watching we'll see you next time and bye